Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Andrews plugin volume 3 color mix up plugin. It's for Photoshop PSP uh, for 32 bit only. Now, this plugin is a bit of a mishmash of different plugins. There's actually multiple plugins, and I've just combined them into one. So, there's a contrast setting, a blur setting, posterization setting, as well as tone and saturation. Now, every time you change the setting here, these change. So, just going to go back to contrast. You'll notice it says contrast, red, green, blue. Go back to blur. It's just the X and Y, which is horizontal and vertical direction. And it just creates, it's not strictly a blur, but it's sort of a more box blur effect. Anyway, just go to the saturation. Change that. Let's see, it modifies the saturation. Also, another saturation. Actually, it's the inverse. There's also other options, and I'm just going to reset at this point. You can actually mix in the various channels. There's red, green, and blue, the original image. So you have more or less of the original brought into the picture. Also, there's a factor option, which is basically applies a more red green or blue, again it's a channel by channel basis. Also you've got a noise function which will add noise into the image as well. As with all the uh, plugins from the Android plugin series, there's blend options which can uh, be used like blend modes that come with Photoshop, like difference or whatever. There's a selection of internal ones that apply the effect to the image, but obviously difference or zapped as I've called it, sometimes can create you know, max a negative effect etc you can also randomize them so you can just quickly go through that blend you can get some edge effects as well as tile effects and frame options as well there's also effects modes where the plugin is actually applied as a sort of blur or smear there's also different color settings so you can actually apply so you can, at that point you can make it obviously a very dark sort of thing so edit mix up go back to the color color mix up and I'll just zoom in again there's other options there's post processing uh, randomization color so I'm just going to go to here gradients and you can actually apply additional gradients I better change that blend and it will apply different types of gradients to the design as the red is very strong that's going to be I'm just going to actually return this reset this quickly show you the reset there gradients again you just apply different gradients to the effect as with all the other plugins you can use them as smart filters you can also use them with Photoshop actions as well as scripting of course combine the effects so you can apply this effect if you want to just click that of course go back into the plugin and now obviously you can modify that effect I'm just going to randomize it a bit and you can combine even more effects to create unusual things so also you can fade the result as always with most Photoshop plugins you can fade and set say like difference or darken or lighten click OK that's a basic run through of the mix up plugin. It's from graphicextras.com, the Andrew Plugins Volume 3.